Hi, thank you for tuning in. By the end of this video, you will understand what watersheds are and how non-point source pollution or people pollution affects water quality in New Jersey. You will also learn how water resources flow through your community and how to practice what Clean Ocean Action calls watershed mindfulness to help stop ocean pollution. To help better understand these concepts, we're going to be using the Enviroscape model, which is a 3D model of a watershed. So what is a watershed? Well, for starts, everyone lives in a watershed. Whether you live in Ohio or in New Jersey, you live in a watershed. And really, it's just the area of land that all drains to one common water body. So everything within that land area is part of the watershed. The rivers, the lakes, the streams, the wetlands, and the land itself, but also everything on that land. So think of what's in your community, your school, the local gas station, cars. So when it rains, the rain will run off surfaces and pick up anything that's in its path and take it down to the rivers, the streams, into that same water body. And that also picks up everything in the watershed that's maybe not supposed to be there or not natural. And this is called stormwater runoff, which can be a main contributing factor to non-point source pollution. So what is non-point source pollution? Non-point source pollution has no point. It's pointless pollution. There's point source pollution where you can point your finger at the source of that pollution and identify it. Some of the examples of non-point source pollution that are common in a watershed are cigarette filters, litter, plastic litter, fertilizer, pesticides, oil and grease, animal waste, and sediment. All of these examples of non-point source pollution are very common in a watershed and ultimately end up affecting New Jersey's water quality. And note that all of these pollutants are created by people. We will now demonstrate how non-point source pollution has become the leading water quality problem and environmental issue in New Jersey. We'll use the Enviroscape to do so. Everything within the watershed is part of that watershed. The roadways, the cars, trucks, schools, homes, farms, pets, boats, sewage facilities, and the list goes on. For our Enviroscape demonstration, we're going to begin with point source pollution. There are two examples of point source pollution on this Enviroscape model. It includes the industrial plant in the top right corner, and the sewage plant located right here in the top of the watershed. You can see that the sludge and oil will flow directly from the industrial plant to the local river. Same thing goes with the sewage treatment plant when there's a combined sewer overflow. So those are two examples of point source pollution. But now we'll talk about the bigger issue, non-point source pollution. Non-point source pollution does not result directly from a discharge at a specific single location, but generally results from land runoff, drainage, or seepage after a rain event. Non-point source pollutions come from many different human activities as we talked about, such as cigarette filters. So commonly you would see cigarette filters maybe on the sides of the road, from people throwing them out of their car windows, maybe in someone's backyard, other contributing factors would be litter, just miscellaneous litter. So maybe when people throw a bag of chips out of their car window, or when their garbage can blows over in front of their home. Two other very common sources of pollution are from fertilizer and pesticides, often used on people's front lawns, farms, and on golf courses. Oil and grease is another very common and detrimental source of pollution, can be found leaking out of people's cars, on the roads. Sediment is a very large contributing factor to water quality problems and is often not thought of as being a very big issue. You can find it on farms, around construction sites, and of course animal waste, which can be found by animals and from people not picking up after their pets. So around neighborhoods, on the sides of roads, and then there's the issue of plastic pollution. Plastic litter can be found all throughout communities and watersheds because it never goes away. 
plastic doesn't biodegrade, but it just photodegrades. It gets smaller and smaller till it chips away. So non-point source pollution is often carried by runoff when it rains. So you can see when it rains on our watershed, all of these pollutants will be carried to the water body. Notice how the rain runs off the streets, parking lots, and land areas. You can see how it picks up the soil and other contaminants, carrying them into smaller water bodies and ultimately to the lake. So excess levels of individual and often invisible substances in this runoff can be very damaging to the water bodies. These include nutrients from the fertilizer and pet waste, toxic substances from the oil, gasoline and other chemicals, bacteria from pet waste and the different litter substances throughout the watershed, and even the soil and sediment itself. So what can you do with all of this information? Well, Clean Ocean Action likes to say to practice water Watershed mindfulness. Watershed mindfulness is the understanding that we are all connected to and responsible for the vast network of waterways within our watershed. So recognizing that what's on the ground will ultimately lead to the ocean. Having an understanding that the watershed is more than just the water, but it's everything within the watershed. And being understanding of what you're putting into your environment and how that will be connected to the ocean. So whether it's your lawn or your roadways, making sure that what you're putting out into the environment, you're comfortable with ending up in your waterways. So picking up after your pet, trying to slow the flow of stormwater runoff off of your property by planting a garden or a rain garden or having a rain barrel. Make sure your car is maintained so that toxic chemicals aren't leaching into the environment. Pick up litter wherever you go and participate in local beach cleanups or Clean Ocean Action's beach cleanups, which are twice every year. Reduce the use of fertilizers and pesticides or other toxic chemicals on your lawn or cut them out altogether. So there are tons of other ways that you can get involved to help your environment and become watershed mindful, but we really appreciate you taking this first step by watching this video about watersheds and non-point source pollution. And we hope you continue to educate yourself and become involved with your community and bettering your environment. So thank you and we hope to see you soon.